now let's talk about simple harmonic motion okay we define a motion as simple harmonic when its instantaneous acceleration is proportional to instantaneous displacement okay and is in direction opposite to instantaneous displacement okay so if this is my reference point and i am over here let's suppose this is x okay then my acceleration would be given by minus of k x okay look my instantaneous acceleration is proportional to instantaneous displacement so i would have a is equal to kx also my instantaneous acceleration is in direction opposite to instantaneous displacement so if my displacement is like this my acceleration is like this therefore i have a negative sign over here hence the equation of a body undergoing simple harmonic motion is a is equal to minus k of x okay in other words we know that a is equal to what a is equal to dv by dt which is equal to dr by dt d by dt right i can also write it like this this is equal to d square r by dt square in this case my r is x therefore my acceleration is d square x by dt square okay so what i get if i put it over here is d square x upon dt square is equal to minus kx so you can see over here this is a differential equation of second order okay now let's talk a bit about a second order differential equation let us suppose i have a d which is like this d square y by dx square plus k1 dy by dx plus k2 y is equal to 0 Let's suppose I have this as a second order differential equation. This is essentially known as a linear homogeneous second order DE with constant coefficients. with constant coefficients let us understand what this means in general a second order differential equation is linear if you have something like this if you have d square y upon dx square plus p1x dy by dx plus p2x y is equal to qx okay if your second order differential equation is like this then this is called as a linear differential equation over here if qx is equal to 0 then it is called as a homogeneous linear differential equation okay or homogeneous lde of second order and if your p1x and p2x are of degree 0 in other words if they do not contain any x terms okay let's write it like this if p1x and p2x are like this 